These are the five platforms that I recommend you offer your tarot reading services as an online tarot reader. Every platform I'm going to share, how you can make money on it, the payment methods that are included with the platform, pros, cons, and then should you use it. I have to start with Etsy. Etsy is one of the most well-known platforms to set up shop as a tarot reader. It is an online marketplace where creators sell handmade items, but there's also the opportunity to offer your services. How to use Etsy to make money? Well, you open your Etsy shop and you create listings for your readings, optimize them so they will actually show up in search, and you're sort of wait till customers come in. Etsy covers a lot of different payment methods with their Etsy payments option. Credit cards, debit and bank cards, Apple Pay, PayPal, Klarna, Ideal, so forth, to name a couple. Pros of Etsy is, first of all, it's an online marketplace. So there's this built-in audience that goes to Etsy to look for tarot readers. This is great because it means you don't have to drive traffic to your Etsy store because Etsy is doing it for you. It is super easy to use Etsy. Setting up your shop, listings, delivering your readings are all fairly easy to do. It also handles VAT for you automatically. And of course, there are tons of payment methods on Etsy, so your customers will always have a way of paying you. And that is a huge plus. There are also a lot of cons when it comes to Etsy. Because it is a marketplace and we have that built-in audience, we also have built-in competition. There are a lot of other tarot readers on Etsy offering their services, and therefore it can be quite hard to enter the scene as a newbie and start selling your own readings. It is possible, but you will really have to know and understand what you're doing. I do have an ebook that helps you set up your Etsy shop and listings that are attractive and desirable in case you're interested. Another huge con is that Etsy takes part of your earnings. First, there is a 20 cent listing fee, which will last you for four months. Then there is a 6.5% transaction fee every time you sell a reading, but also a 4% plus 30 cents payment processing fee for every sale. On top of that, Etsy pays to advertise listings across the web through off-site ads. You can not turn this off, but when you make a sale through one of those ads, you hand over an additional 15% to Etsy. So let's break that down. Let's say you offer your reading for $30, then the 6.5 transaction fee is taken off there, then a 4% plus 30 cents payment processing fee. And if you got this sale through Etsy, then it takes off another 15%. So out of the $30 that you asked for the reading, you're only getting about $22. I'm not gonna lie, I always get a little bit disappointed when I look at the breakdown and I see how much Etsy takes out of my income. Should you still sell your readings on Etsy? Even though there are some pretty big cons, Etsy is a great place to offer your readings, especially if you're just getting started as an online tarot reader and you don't really have a lot of reviews yet that you can lean on for legitimacy as a reader. It is super easy to set up and it's super easy to get paid. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on setting up your tarot reader Etsy shop, including Canva templates and an entire checklist to walk through to set it up, my new ebook, Make Money as a Tarot Reader on Etsy, is the place to get all of that. And I'll link it down below. For the next one, I will mainly be talking about Kofi, but you can do something similar with Buy Me a Coffee. To make money on Kofi as a tarot reader, you open your Kofi page where you open a shop, add listings for tarot readings, and I personally prefer the commissions option option because it's easier to deliver your tarot readings that way and Kofi actually added the options to change the word commissions into readings or services or bookings whichever you prefer. The payment methods on Kofi are definitely more limited than on Etsy but you can add PayPal and Stripe. The pros of Kofi are that it's so easy to use and set up. I love that it doesn't really take a lot of time to set it up. It's super easy to deliver your readings and it's super easy to keep track of your orders and you can mark them as completed. So I think it is a great system. You also have the option to upsell your readings by adding extras to your commissions, like extra cards, extra quick delivery, which I think is pretty great. Kofi also offers many more options like donations with the coffee metaphor, memberships, a blog. You can add discount. You can do pay what you want options for a commission, as well as setting up an earnings goal. Kofi is completely free to use for all of these features. However, it does take a 5% 
fee of all the commission payments, which is nothing compared to Etsy. Now, some cons of Ko-fi is that there are just not a lot of payment methods, especially compared to Etsy, if you can just use PayPal and Stripe. Ko-fi is also not a marketplace like Etsy is, so you have to drive traffic onto your own Ko-fi store. I think Ko-fi is an amazing option to offer your readings as an online tarot reader. The options are great. It's so easy to use both for the reader and the person who is getting the reading. It is a well-known platform, so it looks legit. And it also gives you many more options to give you sort of an all-in-one solution to send potential customers to. Without a doubt, the most professional way to offer your tarot reader services is through your own website. To make money through your own website, you first uh, create one, then you add your tarot reading offers, you link them to a checkout page where they then purchase a reading with you. And depending on what website builder you go with, you can use different kinds of payment pr processors. You could link to a PayPal checkout page, you could use Stripe, or you can use an e-commerce option, or you can use e-commerce options that accept credit cards. There are tons and tons of options, which makes creating a website quite challenging. The pros of having your own website is that it looks so professional. Many professional tarot readers do have their own websites where they offer their readings. Another pro is that you own everything on your website and you decide how your shop look. With Etsy and with Kofi, it has a certain look. You can't really adjust much. You can't really add a lot of personal branding and, and stuff like that. You also don't have to obey to any platform's rules, like you have to abide by Etsy policies, by Kofi policies, policies. You don't have that with your own website. You're just overall more free in what you want to offer and how you want to offer it. The cons, of course, are that it's quite complicated to set up. I personally have a lot of experience setting up different websites, web shops, and I love the creation process of it. But there's still a lot of time to be spent on setting up your own website. You gotta write all the website text and images and, and everything. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. You get it. Depending on the website builder you go with, it can also be quite expensive to build your own website. I know some great options to build your own website for free, but you still have to put in the work to set it all up. And another con is that you still have to send traffic to your own website if you want to get any bookings because it's not a marketplace like Etsy is. I am working on a guide on how to create your own tarot reader website, but I'm not sure if I want to do it as an ebook or as a workshop, a video workshop. So I'm just working that out. Let me know in the comments down below what would be useful, what would be helpful for you. And you can click the link in the description to sign up for uh, any email updates. And if you would like to sort of like hire me as someone who builds your website for you, then definitely shoot me a message on Instagram. I think it's a great option for those who want to have a professional online presence that doesn't need to rely on platforms and their algorithms and their ads to make or break your tarot reader career. However, I understand this is not for everyone, especially for those who don't feel like spending time to create a website and then sending traffic to the website. I get it. Way number four that I recommend is Instagram. And you may not have considered Instagram as a place to make money as a tarot reader, but it is a good option for those who either already have a following on Instagram or those who just love the platform and would love to grow their following to monetize it. The way to do this is to consistently post your offers through posts, reels, stories, all the IG things and then collect payments through PayPal or Venmo or whatever other payment processor you prefer. Some pros is that Instagram is very searchable. As long as you use the right hashtags, people will be able to find you and your offers. The second is that Instagram is fun. It's so fun to create content frequently and you have to make sure to post about your tarot reading offers consistently. You also get to connect with your audience. I feel like Instagram can be this super personal platform where you get a behind the scenes look of people you admire and follow. Throughout you posting content, you build trust with your following and that can make for a very loyal customer base that keeps coming back for more readings. Your Instagram handle is extremely easy to share with friends. Not only can you easy easily share your Instagram with other people in real life, but your customers can also easily share your profile with their friends when they've had a good experience with you and with your service. Now, there are also a couple of cons with Instagram. First of all, the Instagram algorithm can be tricky, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Hell, even people who do know what they're doing are sometimes getting fucked because Instagram decides to focus on something different all of a sudden. It can also be very workload heavy to keep up to date with Instagram. You have to keep up with DMs, also all the other types of content and everything that comes with that. But also there are a lot 
a lot of scammers on Instagram, especially in the spiritual and tarot community. And not only do you run the risk of people impersonating you and your account and then scamming people who want to be your customers, you also run the risk of potential customers thinking that your account isn't legit. These scammers impersonate established tarot readers by creating fake accounts and then reaching out to followers, of those established tarot readers to offer them readings. And the payment methods that these scammers use are usually something like PayPal or Venmo. And that makes Instagram not the ideal platform to sell your readings. However, I still think that building your Instagram is great for all the reasons I just mentioned. The searchability of the platform, building trust with potential customers, and the fact that it's so easy to share your IG profile with others. And when you have built up that loyal following, it's great to send them to the place where you sell your readings it looks more legit than sending them just a paypal or a venmo link again i recommend etsy kofi or your own website for this and then the fifth and final one is youtube i initially didn't want to include youtube but i guess i also make money doing tarot readings on youtube here and in my previous videos uh, i read the comments of people who wanted to offer their readings on here so here's how i would recommend you offer your readings to make money on youtube first of all the tarot tube community is booming with new creators and there is always a place for more. The challenge with YouTube is that in order to make money on the platform, you will need to be monetized. So I will go over the two ways you can make money as a reader on YouTube if you're monetized and if you're not monetized. And what I mean with if you're monetized is that your channel has the requirements to take part in the YouTube partner program. For the longest time, that was having a thousand subscribers and having 4,000 hours of watch time in one year. But I have heard that YouTube might change up those requirements. So don't hold it against me if it changes. So how to make money on YouTube as a tarot reader? First of all, you create videos on tarot readings where you do readings for the collective, you do pick a card readings, month ahead readings, week ahead readings, just all the readings, and you collect AdSense money that you earn through the ads that YouTube runs on videos. In those videos, you can also prompt viewers to leave a super thanks by clicking the button with a little heart that says super thanks, like the little hearty. And that's YouTube's in-platform way of donations to creators. Another way to make money on YouTube is by doing live streams. I think yeah, live streams are super fun to do. And I do them myself every Saturday, live political tarot readings, deliciously polarizing. But you can offer tarot readings in exchange for super chats. And this is a highlighted chat that viewers can donate money to show up in chats and ask their question through there. You can have graphics up on the screen or have it written in the description of your live stream where you say, what amount of money gives you what kind of tarot reading. Keep in mind that all of these ways, the AdSense, Super Thanks, Super Chats, are all features that you can only get when you're in the YouTube Partner Program. For reference, I started this YouTube channel in October 2020 and I got into the Partner Program of February this year. So I got monetized in about one year and four months and I spent a lot of time making videos and I have consistently uploaded two to three videos per week. No no worry, you can also make money as a tarot reader on YouTube before you get into the partner program, but you will still need to build up a following here on YouTube because that's just how it works. To make money on YouTube before you get any of the fancy monetization tools is you simply have great videos people love and resonate with, and you send them to the place where you sell your services. I sound like a broken record, but I recommend Etsy, Kofi, as well as your own website. The pros of being on YouTube as a tarot reader is first of all, it's fun. It's so fun to connect with your audience to create videos it's literally the highlight of my week when i get to work on my youtube channel and you just get to connect with so many people and it's just so fun it's so fun cons are that it does take a lot of work to be a content creator and it takes a lot of confidence to put yourself out there and to become vulnerable to potential hate comments. I love being a creator on YouTube. And if you are comfortable enough to show yourself or at least your, your hands, if you wanna do a top-down tarot reading on camera, YouTube is a great way to make money as a tarot reader. Now, what about those psychic platforms? When you Google places to offer tarot readings, you will soon come across marketplaces like Keen or Mystic Sense. 
there's not necessarily something wrong with offering your services on these sites. However, I don't recommend this is where you start your online terror reader journey. When you apply and then become a terror reader on those platforms, you don't get to play by your own rules anymore. You play by theirs. You don't have the ability to craft your offers like I'm going to show you in all my guides. You don't even always have the option to price your services as you would like. You have to play by the rules and the guidelines of that platform. And I don't know about you, but I've never been able to neatly draw between the lines. I won't say don't apply to these sites. I just say I recommend you start setting up these other platforms before you do so. That way you will have a better understanding of what you want to offer, what rules you want to play by, and what you want to price yourself at. Now that you know where you want to offer your tarot reader services, I recommend you click this video right here. And you click the link down here to get the guides on how to make money as an online tarot reader on Etsy. And feel free to hire me if you need an audit on your Etsy shop, on your Ko-fi shop, or if you need me to help build you a website. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time.